Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get the new Raycada primary key ID from MySQL insert query. So let's say we are uh, developers and we are working on some uh, uh, insert statements. And, and after we insert uh, the Raycada, we would like to get uh, the last uh, ID value what we have uh, inserted um, so that we can do that. Uh, here, I'm uh, in a customer one table and I have a uh, ID customer that's integer not null auto increment then I have first name last name age phone number and all other columns I'm gonna go ahead and create this uh, table now here uh, I'm inserting uh, the data into the customer one table so I'm not inserting anything in the ID customer column because it's uh, auto increment so I'm gonna go ahead and insert the statement here and you will see uh, the data is inserted now I will go and select the data and uh, you see that uh, ID customer one and the uh, name first first name last name age whatever and if I want to see in this session what was the last uh, ID that was inserted uh, I can use uh, this function called last insert underscore ID okay this function will return me the this value one okay because that's the last uh, uh, value inserted for the primary key auto increment column so let me select that and you see that it is uh, showing me that now if I will go ahead and run this uh, multiple times uh, so I'm gonna uh, run like three four times uh, actually more and you can see that uh, uh, if I run now this uh, select last insert ID and you can see that the values returned is 8 um, so if I select the data and uh, what you are gonna see here the last ID is uh, 8 um, okay so th this is something like when uh, you're working with different application you want to insert some records and you want to return the last uh, ID uh, column value you can uh, use the last insert ID function there now there are a couple of things uh, you need to remember from here if uh, you have a separate session um, let's say now this was uh, let me drop this I'm gonna go ahead this was our session we have created with the MySQL I'm gonna go and create a new session so let's say another user login or something like that and he will see different value so I'm going to take the same statements here just open a new session and in the new session this is my new session and a new query paste it here and uh, I will insert some record here okay now we will say select asterisk from customer one and also so you see that uh, now we have a uh, nine rows uh, this is the uh, last record is uh, inserted from uh, this session uh, so if I will say la select last uh, uh, insert ID in this uh, session I will see the record uh, 9 uh, so you see that uh, we are getting the value 9 here but uh, if I will go to the old session uh, still uh, we are getting the value 8 uh, because uh, 8 was the last value inserted for this session um, so if I run this again just to show you guys so you can see that I'm getting it so the last insert ID that you are going to get is according to the session so if there are multiple users creating different sessions and they will run the last insert ID to get that that's the ID they inserted in their session so it's specific to the session and that will return you the last value thanks very much for watching this video and I hope this will help